cabin noise is so bad that it becomes, quote, almost impossible to talk on the phone or with other passengers. Are you serious? Seven, count them, seven reasons not to buy the Jeep Gladiator. I saw that headline on a YouTube video. I had to watch it because I'm wrapping up my week with the 2024. Somebody has to defend the Jeep Gladiator. That somebody is me. Fuel economy was an issue. Really? I will give you that Jeep dropped their diesel 3 liter V6, but you still have this 3.6 liter V6 available in a six speed manual or eight speed automatic transmission, 285 horsepower. Here's the fuel economy numbers. With a six speed manual transmission, 16 city, 23 highway, again, four wheel drive. Eight speed automatic, 17 city, 22 highway. Now I'll compare it with three of its rivals the Tacoma, the Ranger, and the Colorado. Tacoma, 20 city, 26 highway, a little bit better, but two liter inline four turbo rear wheel drive. Colorado, 20 city, 25 highway, a little bit better, but 2.7 liter inline four turbo rear wheel drive. Those are the best case scenario numbers. Ford Ranger, 21 city, 25 highway, 2.3 liter inline four turbo. Is there really a clear winner in this category? I'm going to give it a push. I'm going to combine ride quality and cabin noise as two factors in which it is said to avoid the Gladiator. Cabin noise. And I quote, almost impossible to talk on the phone with other passengers when you're on the highway. Okay, I understand the higher ground clearance. I understand um, a pathetic drag coefficient, as they say, quote. And then, of course, you have the massive all-terrain tires. Yet, during my experience, the ride quality was surprising. Yeah, I expect when you're driving a Jeep Wrangler with a five-foot bed that it's going to be difficult to have a comfortable and easygoing highway experience. I found it to be just the opposite on the highway. Whatever they're doing with this longer wheelbase, it was smoother and quieter than I expected. I had no problems talking on the phone through the Bluetooth. I had no problems talking to my passengers who are right here shoulder to shoulder. When they say it's almost impossible, I know they're taking liberties, but I have to bring that up because that was the argument on why you should avoid the Gladiator. So cabin noise, disagree. Ride quality, disagree because I drove it. Another argument not to buy the Gladiator, a small bed, an extra small cargo bed. I'm not so sure about that one. So we are looking at a five foot bed, 60.3 inches. And the cubic volume, if you had a tonneau cover on this, 35.5 cubic feet. Max towing capacity, 7,700 pounds. Payload, 1,700. All right, four of the competitors in this midsize pickup truck category. How about the Colorado and Ranger? Now the Colorado has a 61.7 inch uh, cargo bed, basically the same, five footer. Ranger, 59.6, basically the same, five footer. If anything, the cargo beds of the Tacoma and Frontier are bigger. Tacoma, 73.5, Frontier, 73.3. So yeah, a little bit bigger, you got some six footers there, but doesn't mean that's a reason not to buy the Gladiator. It's right there in the middle. Limited passenger space. This is my position as the driver. Can you see my knees? I've got about that much room. I'm in a mid-sized pickup truck. When you compare other mid-sized pickup trucks, this is about standard. There's nothing that says, oh my God, you're gonna be so cramped in the back seat as an adult. I already have two booster chairs here for the kids. I can clearly sit here behind myself on a road trip, even sliding back a little bit, and my knees are still even not even touching uh, the front driver's seat. I got room right here for my arm, got the fold down armrest, pair of cup holders. So two adults, no problem back here, because I would take this out and have an adult right here, uh, but no problem with two kids in their booster chairs, plenty of space for that, but two adults, no problem. It is a fact. Mid-sized pickup trucks with three adults in the back seat, you will be shoulder to shoulder. Nothing about this says it is smaller than the following. 
uh, the Colorado, Ranger, Tacoma, Frontier, all about the same. So rear passenger space is not a valid argument. If anything, the Honda Ridgeline has more comfortable space in the back seat versus any of those I mentioned, as well as the Gladiator. So again, I think that's not a fair assessment. I'll finish off with this, and that is price for this midsize pickup truck. Again, a Jeep Wrangler with a five foot bed. That's the only possible argument, except for the fact that a Jeep Wrangler starts at $34,000. But with this vehicle, which starts at $40,000, you get the bed. Now with the Colorado, it starts at 31. Ranger starts at 34. Tacoma starts at 33. The GMC Canyon starts at 37.5. Okay, so you're gonna save five, seven, $8,000 for the beginning MSRP on the base trim levels of all the vehicles over the Gladiator, which starts at 40, goes up to 55, but you get a bed. And you're probably, probably buying this because you wanna go off-road and you wanna have some cargo in the back. And nothing is going to beat a Jeep when it comes to going off-road. And you have the cargo bed. There are some reasons you should buy a Jeep Gladiator at least as a rebuttal to the video that said seven reasons you should not buy a Jeep Gladiator. That's my opinion. If you disagree, I appreciate your disagreement. Leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Adios. That's my video for today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it really helps support this channel. See you next time. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.